morning to you once again. This morning's session is on comparing numbers using greater than, less than, or equal to. This is for the primary students, and always the primary students find this topic always difficult. I will make it simple. Always we compare numbers using greater than, less than, or equal to. And I will start with equal to. If I give you one number at the right hand side, and another number two at the left hand side, and you are asked to compare, always if they give you same numbers, this means the numbers are equal in values. So you put your equal to here. You see this number, this is the right hand side, and this is the left hand side. Let me write it in full. Right hand side. And this is the left hand side. So you see they are equal because the number at the right hand side is equal to the number at the left hand side. Now, another example. If I give you 12 and this 2 is 12. You see, we have the right hand side. The right hand side. And this is the left hand side. The number at the right hand side is the same as the number at the left hand side. And always, if the numbers are the same, we put your equal to that this equal sign. Because they are equal in numbers or equal in values. So I'm done with equal to. Greater than. Greater than. This is greater than. Greater than. So if I give you something like this. You see, the number at the left hand side is greater than the number at the right hand side. Because this is 8 and this is what? 6. And always if we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But you see, we have the right hand side. The right hand side. And this is the left hand side. Always, if the number at the left hand side is larger or more than the number at the right hand side, we put in greater than. If the number at the left hand side is larger than the number at the right hand side, we put in greater than. So you see, this one is greater than what? This number. So it's greater than. This is our answer because we cannot put in less than. Another example. Another example. 20, 15. We have the right hand side and the left hand side. And as I said, always if the number at the left hand side is bigger or larger than the number at the right hand side, you put in your greater than. Now, let's take this example, 15, 20. You see, I have changed their position. And always take note that if the number, this is the left hand side, and this is the right hand side. So if the number at the left hand side is smaller than the number at the right hand side, we put in less than. I repeat, if the number at the left hand side is smaller or lesser than the number at the right hand side, we put in our less than symbol. The reason why I am indicating the left hand side and the right hand side is that I want to make it simple for our primary students. That's why I am bringing the left hand side and the right hand side. So, always you will be given two numbers to compare using greater than, less than, or equal to. If I give you compare
compare the following numbers using greater than, less than, or equal to. You see, one, three, two, two, six, six, three, nine, ten. I have given you this question, and this is the right hand side, and this is the left hand side. And we see that the number at the left hand side is bigger or larger than the number at the right hand side. So we put in our greater than because 3 is greater than what? 2. The second question this is the right hand side and this is the left hand side. They are equal in values. So we put in our equal 2. Now we have 9 at the left hand side and 10 at the right hand side. This means this is lesser than what? This. So we put in our less than. We put in our less than. Let me give my primary students assignment so that they do it for me. Assignment. One. One. Two. Twenty. So, this is the assignment I have for my primary students. Thank you and have a nice...